As PCBs become smaller and more compact, it's critical to optimize the voltage supplies and noise margins to ensure the power integrity of your design. This could take many iterations between the PCB designer and PI expert. With an integrated power DC solution, a PCB designer can easily optimize the PDN network by assessing the IR drop and current density within the design, which helps keep product timelines on schedule. Static IR drop is the DC voltage developed across a component due to its resistance. With increased IR drop, the voltage at the load devices decreases, which results in design failure. With PowerDC, you can easily set up your design for IR drop analysis. Verify the PCB stack up and update the material properties if required. Then identify the critical power and ground nets that you want to analyze for the IR drop. Modern high-speed designs consist of multiple power supply voltages. The source of these supplies is the VRM. The PDN consists of all the interconnects from VRMs to various devices in your design. Let's define the VRMs and sinks to analyze the IR drop and optimize the power distribution in your design. Now your design is ready for simulation. You can view the results in two formats, as an e-results table and color-coded indicators on the canvas. If the voltage delivered at the sync devices is less than the expected value, then your device might not operate. The sync voltage table indicates the voltage delivered at selected components. The red cross indicates the voltage is outside the tolerance. It's important to monitor power loss on all structures, layers, and nets because any significant power loss throughout the PDN path can contribute to PDN noise. By selecting View 2D E Distributions, you can see the color-coded distribution of the selected parameter on the canvas. Select the power layer and the IR drop within distribution to analyze the DC voltage drop across the two ICs. The red color indicates highest voltage drop. Current density distribution helps you identify the hot spots in your design. Increased current density may cause excessive heating, which might cause your device to blow. If there are any issues with your design, simply go back to your PCB layout and fix them by modifying component placement and routing. By identifying these issues earlier in the design stage, a PCB designer can easily modify and optimize the design from board to beyond, consider intelligent system design.